all over the world. Masamahan niyo po kami magpuri at sumamba sa ating Panginoon sa gabing ito saan ka man naroon. Hallelujah! Awitin po natin ang may galak, may saila at may tuwa sa piling ng ating Diyos. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Lord! Salamat po, Panginoon!
Lord, sa gabi ito, pinataas namin sa inyo, Lord God. Si Pastor Panginoon na maghahatid, Lord God, ang ipong salita. Gamitin mo siya, Panginoon, kasangkapan, Panginoon. Ikaw, Lord, ang magsalita, Panginoon, kay Pastor, O God. Lord, anoint every one of us, O God. Lord, we love you, Lord God. Lord, we love you, Lord God. Lord, hindi, hindi kami, Panginoon, tatali ko sa inyo, Lord God. Ano man, Panginoon, ang maranasan namin, Lord God, sa aming buhay, Lord. Iwanan man kami, Lord God, ng kahit sino, Panginoon. Ikaw lang, Panginoon, ay sapat na. Sapat na, Lord. Whether you are first timer or matagal na pong Christians, matagal ng LRC yan, uh, welcome po sa ating lahat and I'm very honored po na magbigay po ng mensahe ni Lord sa atin tonight. And so before we start, let's open this up po with a prayer. Sige, let's close our eyes and bow down our heads. Hallelujah, Abba Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, Lord. Um, praise your name, O God. Truly, there is no one and nothing that could ever compare to your goodness, O God. And Lord, we as one church, as one body, Lord God, come into this prayer, Lord God, to give you all the glory that you deserve, Lord. Not just because of what you've done, but because of who you are. You are magnificent, Lord. Truly, Lord God, nothing could compare to you. And Lord, before we go deeper sa prayer na to, Lord God, I ask you, Lord, to cleanse all of us of our sins, Lord God. Mga bagay, Lord God, that makes us unworthy na maramdaman na ning ang iyong presensya, Lord. Lord, cleanse us from our heads to our toes, Lord God. Lord, saka nunuk-nunukan, Lord, ng amin pong puso, Lord God. We ask you, Lord, for a renewal of our spirit, Lord God. If our Holy Spirit is grieving, Lord God, Lord, bigyan mo kami ng mercy, bigyan mo kami ng forgiveness and your grace, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, sa um, mabuting kalaoban po ninyo, Lord God, na kami po is patuloy at patuloy na, na tumatayo, Lord God, upang pagsilbihan ka, Lord God. Because we know na itong ginagawa namin, Lord, is not for our glory, but for you alone, Lord. Thank you, Lord, most especially, Lord, for your gift of salvation. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. We know we are not worthy at all, but Lord, you still came down from heaven para lang po isave kami. And Lord, we appreciate all of your uh, good things, Lord, na binigay niyo po at ginawa niyo for us. Lord, right now, Lord God, uh, I ask in the name of Jesus that you open the hearts and the minds of my brothers and sisters before me. Lord God, na kami po is uh, ma-open sa mga revelation niyo po sa amin tonight, Lord, na whatever man pong madidiscuss tonight is tuman tumanim po ito sa pinakamatabang bahagi ng aming puso, Lord, at malakaran po namin ito, hindi lang sa salita, bagkos sa amin din pong mga gawain, Lord God. Lord, uh, we declare na wala pang distraction na magagawa ang kalaban tonight, Lord God. Because we know, Lord, na you have covered each one of us with your most precious blood, Lord. And we know na your blood is very holy, Lord God. And na kahit na ang kaaway, we'll be afraid. We'll be afraid, Lord God, upang mag-try ng kahit anuman pong uh, bagay na madidistract kami. Thank you, Lord God, for your continuous protection. Bigyan mo po ako ng wisdom and ng knowledge and ng understanding na nanggagaling sa iyo, Lord. Ikaw po ang magsalita sa akin, Lord God, tonight. 
Nang sa ganun, Lord, whatever I say, everybody will know, everybody will witness na nanggagaling po ito sa inyo. Thank you, Lord God. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Ayan, so start na po tayo sa ating exhortation. Um, alright. Ang um, aking pong topic tonight is all about, ito po. Do we really believe na nag exist po si Lord? No? Um, basically, ito pong question na to is very close to my heart. Because I always... Um, question stuff, no? Wala naman pong mali siya, but I, I'm very inquisitive talaga. And one of the things that I found hard to prove before is yung existence po ni Lord. And, um, so, pagka kasi may trial ako, parang naisip ko na, Lord, naririnig mo ba ako? Bakit wala kang ginagawa? Bakit parang iba? ba? Diba? So, Originally, ang question po, uh, I mean, ang title ng topic ko tonight is supposed to be, Does God really exist? No? But then, para akong, ano, para akong nabatukan ni Lord kasi uh, He reminded me sa mga panahon na siya mismo is nagpakilala sa akin, na boses siya mismo is narinig ko. So, the question is not whether God really exists because we know He exists, but it's more on do we really believe naniniwala ba tayo na nag exist ang Diyos? Amen po. So, um, ayun, I just wanna stress it out na uh, we know, we know that um, God exists. How? Diba? It's, I mean, just look up, look around you, um, sa mga miracles na nangyayari, no, sa buhay natin, and everything else in between. That proves that there's one being na nagkocontrol ng mga bagay na ito. Amen po. So, Uh, para talaga akong ano no binatukan ni Lord kasi parang he 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 told me na anak sa lahat ng ginawa ko para sa iyo hindi ka pa ba naniniwala na nag-exist ako ba diba? so i know naman po na lahat tayo is may kanya-kanyang experience na kay Lord and why else no na tayo um magse-serve ng ganito kung hindi natin kilala si Lord bakit tayo uh, mag-exhort bakit tayo gagawa ng mga uh, pinapagawa niya, which is in the Bible, kung hindi naman tayo sigurado na totoo siya. Amen? So, ayun no. Na, na-direct lang ako sa ganong <laughs> topic, which is we were asking kung naniniwala ba tayo nag exist si Lord. Amen? So, ayan po. Um, next. Kung naniniwala po tayo na nag exist si Lord, bakit natin siya natatanong minsan, di ba? Especially kapag po tayo is may mga kinakaharap ng trials, di ba? Number one na gagawin natin yan eh. Lord, bakit? Bakit? Di ba? So, for example, Lord, naririnig mo ba ako? Di ba? Ang tagal ko nang pinagpipray to Lord, bakit wala pa rin? And bakit po hindi mo sinasagot yung prayer ko? Nagsaserve naman ako. Yan ang mga madalas na excuse, no? Lalong-lalo na po pag mga Christians na. And hindi rin po natin may iwasan minsan na kinocompare natin yung sarili natin sa iba. Bakit parang yung mga taong hindi nakakakilala kay Lord is mas sila pa yung nagpa-prosper compare sa akin na nagsaserve kay Lord na binibigay ko yung time, yung money, yung effort, everything para sa Lord. Pero bakit ganito pa rin yung pinagdadaanan ko, di ba? Hindi po natin maiwasan na magtanong minsan. And another thing na madalas is parang ginagawa natin advantage over sa mga hindi nagtatights is this one. We say, faithful naman ako sa tights ko. Bakit hindi pa rin na-answer yung prayer ko? At minsan, no, especially in times na madidiin na talaga tayo is we ask, Lord, but ako? <laughs> diba? Hindi lang siya sa mapipili ka na mag-lead ng prayer na nag ask ka ng but ako. <laughs> but also, um, in times na nasa gitna ka na talaga ng kahirapan. Kung saan parang everything, no, wala, wala ng sense. Wala ka ng way para manalo. Diba? Minsan may talunan tayong pag-iisip which we should rebuke and we should stop having pa. So, um, sinasabi po dito, no? Itong mga questions na to, let's be honest, kahit matatag ka ng Christian or what, na question talaga natin si Lord. Pero, we have to remember, we have to remember mga kapatid na nangyayari ito, it's either 
because of these two reasons. Unang una, it's either because si Lord is uh, you know protectionan ka, or the Lord is preparing you para sa matinding promotion. Amen. And ayan. So for example, no, share ko lang po yung nangyari sa akin dito sa ano, sa Abu Dhabi, which is um, medyo ano siya for me medyo tragic. No? So nag-start pa ako ng work. Um, napunta pa ako sa isang real estate company and again, wala pa pa akong previous work experience kahit sa Pinas. So pagka-graduate ko, andito na po ako agad and I ha- I had no clue kung paano ba magtrabaho and unfortunately, I mean before it was probably unfortunate, but napunta pa ako sa isang company na notorious sila sa pagtitreat ng employees nila very bad. So, maraming dinemand yung dati kong boss from me na I thought would be so impossible na nakita ko na yung mga kawork ko, they come and they go within two days, within three days, nagre-resign sila. But glory to God po, no? Ito po yung mga panahon din na nakilala ko si Lord. And I stayed. no Kahit na ganun yung nangyayari, like legit, siguro mga 20 plus na staff within a year or less than a year ang nag-come and go sa sa company na yun. So, matindi po talaga sila. And, uh, nung nagsisimula ako, yung boss ko na yun, she was telling me na meron akong target. Which, kahit sino pang i-ask nyo, I believe, um, would say it's impossible. Diba? Um, but the Lord really, you know, nung, nung narinig ko yung target na yun, I thought, paano ko magagawa to? But, the Lord spoke to me in that very moment. And He told me, nasasamahan niya ako. And glory to God, natapos ko po yung two years doon, and I became better. Na yung mga bagay na akala ko imposible is nagawa ko. Not because magaling ako, but because magaling si Lord. And yung mercy niya, and yung faithfulness niya, and yung grace niya was upon me. And is still upon me. So, moving on po, no, nagkaroon ako ng susunod na trabaho. From then on, na-recognize po ng bago kong boss, yung mga uh, skills na nakuha ko dun sa previous company ko and everything was perfect. Amen. It was my answered prayer kung anong salary, kung anong off, at mababait na boss, kung gaano ako na-stress sa una kong work. Doble at triple yung binigay sa akin ni Lord na magandang trabaho this time. So you see, ang point ko po is, again, it's more of a God protecting you from something but also, either God is preparing you for promotion. Baka kapatid, kaya ka dumadaan sa matinding pagsubok, is because the Lord is preparing you. He is readying your heart para sa magiging magandang future na meron siya para sa iyo. Amen po. So, um, let us not worry po um, if ever nandito man tayo sa gantong parte ng buhay natin because it will really happen. Whether Kristiano ka o hindi, magkakaroon ka talaga ng trial. And it's always, always better na we face yung trials natin ng kasama po si Lord. Amen? Ayan, so kung may natututunan po tayo, mag-type lang po tayong Amen sa atin pong comments. And always share din po yung inyo pong thoughts sa mga message po sa atin ni Lord tonight. Ayan, so let's move on. Um, Alright. So, madalas din, no, sinasabi natin na we know Jesus. Pero, bakit kinakwestiyon pa rin natin kung ano yung gustong gawin ni Lord sa atin? Diba? Parang, um, let's see here. Sabi po dito sa Exodus chapter 19, verses 10 to 11. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and be ready by the third day, because on that day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Amen. Um, let me just read na lang po full. So, sabi din po dito sa Exodus chapter 20 verse 18, When the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smokes, they trembled with fear. They stayed at a distance. So, just to explain po, no, ito yung, ano, yung mga panahon na before this, Si Lord would only speak po sa mga, ay kay Moses. 
So, si Moses, nire-relay niya yung kung ano man sinabi ng Lord sa mga Israelites. But walang direct contact. Diba? Si Moses lang yung nagkaroon ng privilege na ganun. So, um, we see here na ito po yung mga panahon na i-announce na ni Lord yung pong Ten Commandments. And um, if we examine ito pong verse na to, yung nasa taas, yung Exodus chapter 19, we see no, na ang daming ceremonies na kailangan gawin ng mga Israelites para lang mamit yung presence ni Lord. For sure, they know of Yahweh, right? Pero they haven't really met Him yet. So, ito yung mga panahon si Lord mismo, kakausapin sila directly. So, ano pang proof, di ba, ang kakailanganin mo bilang uh, believer kung hindi ito? Na si Lord na mismo yung kakausap sa'yo. So, like I said before, because everybody was living um, under rules, di ba? Under the law, which is and now we're living under grace because of what Jesus had done. So, yung mga tao, kailangan nilang mag-consecrate. So, umabot siya ng three days bago nila mamimit si Lord. So, um, kailangan nilang i-wash yung clothes at maging ready. Um, there's so many things na kailangan nilang gawin para lang ma-meet si Lord. So, sabi po naman dito sa Exodus chapter 20 na, noong na-meet na nila si Lord, diba? nagkaroon ng thunder and lightning at may trumpet and then nakakita sila ng smoke sa mountain at natakot sila. So, you see, no? si Lord is nagpakilala na sa kanila. Diba? Kung nagawa ni Lord na magkaroon ng thunder, ng lightning, ng smoke, and ng sound ng trumpet para i-announce yung presence niya. What else? Diba? Anong proof pa ang kailangan mo to prove that Jesus exists? So again, going back po sa ating title, it's not whether God really exists, but it's more of a question, do we really believe na niniwala ba tayong nag exist si Lord? Amen po. Alright, so next po, Ayan. So, again, sinasabi na po dito yung, ano, yung mga commandments. And it is important to note kung ano po yung second commandment. Amen? Ito po sa Exodus chapter 20 verse 4. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Amen. So, ayan. Uh, sabi na nga po dito, no, na ang major problem po ng mga Israelites is Aminin man po natin o hindi, is idolatry. And si Lord mismo, he said that this is something na ayaw niya, ayaw na ayaw niyang gawin ng mga <laughs> tao for him. So, we shall not make idols. We shall not make any image. no If we want to worship the Lord, we worship Him directly. Hindi na po kailangan ng <laughs> mga rebulto. Hindi na kailangan ng um, ibang tao na we think would be holier than us. But tayo na po mismo ang lalapit po kay Lord. Amen. Um, sa, pa, sa pagpapakilala ni Lord sa atin or sa mga Israelites, diba? Pinrove na ni Lord na nag exist siya. How? Uh, in-split niya yung Red Sea, diba? Para makadaan sila away from the Egyptians. And um, let's go to the New Testament. Si Lord, si Jesus, tinur niya yung water into wine. Um nagpaulan nag, uh, ng mana si Yahweh sa Old Testament so many things so many things na na-witness ng Israelites pero why do they still go back and worship other gods diba? ito po yung isang major problem ng mga Israelites and I believe no, it's still relevant today hindi man tayo nag-worship ng idols maybe but we are worshiping other things diba? for example yung time natin it's spent more on social media Whereas, it would be better if we spend it on reading the Bible or being involved in the ministry. You know, anything po that we put above the Lord is idolatry. 
So, in everything that we do po, dapat unang-unang po doon si Lord. Amen. So, next po, are we going to be like the Israelites? Diba? And sila blessed, they are favored, they are the head, and not the tail. Why do I say this? Kasi lahat ng battles nila, diba, nanalo sila because the Lord was with them. Amen? Yung journey nila sa sa a promised land, it wasn't easy. Diba? Inabit sila ng 40 plus years roaming around what could have taken them easily how many years lang or even days diba but because of their stubbornness umabot sila sa ganong taon but still the lord favored them diba all all their wars were won not because of how good they are but because of the power of the lord amen they are god's chosen people kagaya po natin uh, mga kapatid i believe na hindi ka nandito dahil lang <laughs> nagkaroon na ng notification na nanonood yung isang mong friend sa Facebook. So, chinek mo lang, no? I believe, no? Na si Lord po is nangungusap sa inyo tonight. And I know, I know na uh, si Lord ang bahalang kumausap sa iyo. I am just being used bilang instrument para ipakilala siya sa inyo. So, I pray sa conviction po sa mga puso nating lahat. Um, and then po, sabi po dito, we are, uh, they were protected and they were covered. Amen? Pero, unfaithful sila. Magiging kagaya ba tayo ng mga Israelites na in times of trouble, sinisisi si Lord? Pero in times na nagpa-prosper sila, hindi kilala si Lord. Diba? Um, I'd just like everybody po to share with us yung mga experience nyo kung saan nagpakilala si Lord. Kung kailan nyo na-encounter si Lord. Kung kailan nyo na-encounter yung goodness niya, yung faithfulness niya, and yung love niya para sa inyo. Because, I know, meron po tayong mga nakikinig, uh, na kapatid, na maybe hindi pa nila nakikilala si Lord, but through our testimonies, is magpapakilala pa si Lord. Amen po. So, let's take it, um, let's give a practical example kung ano po ba yung ini ibig kong sabihan. No? Number one, Ito po yung madalas na cycle na nanonotice ko sa church. Kasi uh, medyo matagal na rin naman po ako sa church. No? I think four years. And four years na rin akong Christian. So I have seen people come and go sa atin pong church. And it's so sad na may mga umaalis po. So anyway, um, ito. Let's expose po kung ano ba yung cycle na to. Ayan. So maybe na-invite ka. ba and naging bagong believer ka na na uh, na bless ka, di ba? Naging on fire ka sa mga kasi parang lahat ng pinipreach ni pastor that day, parang tamang-tama sa eh, parang parang mensahe para sa iyo, mensahe ni Lord para sa iyo yung nangyayari. So magtutuloy ka, di ba? Maybe you will join ministries or mag-encounter and so much more na may kinalaman sa church. And then, nagkaroon ka ng trial. So maybe, i-deny mo pa yan. Parang, ah, ano lang yan, um, tactic lang yan ng kaaway para madistract ako. Kasi Christian na kasi ako, kaya ako inaatake ng kaaway. But I'm here to tell you na minsan, hindi yun ang dahilan. Hindi, hindi lang yon ang dahilan. And then, madalas, no, we question God na, Lord, bago akong Christian, Lord, nakikilala kita, ba't naman ganito? Diba? Diba, ikaw ang Lord, bakit ako nagihirap? No? So many things come to our mind na finifeed ng kaaway sa atin, which is totally normal. Ang importante po is we know kung paano natin ilalabanan itong mga thoughts na ini-input ng kaaway sa atin. So, we have two choices. We will either give up or we will persevere. Asan ka dyan, kapatid? If you are a new Christian. I'm not saying na Christian na ngayon lang nakinig, but maybe uh, ilang years ka pa lang, or you think na hindi pa ganun ka strong yung faith mo. Ba? Will you give up? Or will you persevere? Um, a lot of times po, um, like I said, no, sa mga trials na nangyayari sa, sa buhay natin, minsan, uh, we think na ito kasing si, ano, si Satan, um, ina niya ako. Pero, most of the time, it is the work of God. 
kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng mga ganong trial. You will ask me, eh ba't ganon? Kung si Lord pala, bakit? Akala ko ba gusto niya yung best for me? Eh bakit niya ako pinapahirapan? Um, hindi natin siya titignan as like that. But remember, bago ka naging Christian, ano ba yung buhay mo? ba? Diba? For example, meron kang mga loan. O oh, di, bago ka maging Christian, wala pang naniningil sa'yo, di ba? So, esakto, nung naging Christian ka na, yung hindi, ka, yung hindi mo pagbabayad sa mga loan mo, this time, siningil ka na. Hindi mo sasabihin na, si Satan kasi, ano eh, um, uh, inaatake ako ngayon kasi nakay Lord na ako. It's not that. Ang reason po for that is because si Lord, He wants you to serve Him with a better heart. Di ba? For example, a clearer and more re relatable na example, um, maybe na-addict ka sa pag-iinom, sa pag yosi and nung naging Christian ka, nagkaroon ka ng mga complications sa health mo. You will not blame it on the enemy. Probably, he played a small part on it, pero tayo po yung nagde-decide, di ba? Ultimately, di ba? Si Satan would always and always tempt us, pero at the end of the day, it is us who decide. So, may mga bagay na, na ang effect lang niya is after na nating maging Christian na nagkakataon. And it's not for us to blame God because sino bang nag-decide, ba? Diba? It is us. The Lord, kaya niya ini-expose yung mga ganong bagay is because He wants us na maging new person. He wants us to be born again. Yung tao na pagka ni represent siya, is talaga namang makikita yung glory glory niya sa kanya. For example, if you are still a drunkard, di ba? Na kunyaring Christian ka na, tapos may nakakita sa yung new believer na, ala, akala ko ba Christian yan eh, ba't nag, <laughs> bakit nagpipreach siya ng ano, ng ganun pa rin, ng laseng, di ba? There's so many things na ina-expose ni Lord sa atin para when we stand, para i-represent siya, is we will do, we will do it better. Amen? So, remember po that everything we do, everything that happens in our lives, it will, it has a purpose. Amen? And si Lord, He only wants po kung ano yung best for us. Amen? Kasi, parent siya eh, di ba? Tatay natin siya, He's our Abba Father. Meron bang magulang na may ayaw na makitang mag-prosper ang anak niya, di ba? If anything, ang kakampi natin is si Lord. Si Lord will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Amen? Um, sabi po dito, no, God, um, God wants what's best for us. Pero sometimes, yung mga best things na gusto niya for us is wrapped, nakabalot, in earthly pains. Di ba? So, minsan, masakit man para sa atin na mangyari, but let us remember that everything happens because we are one step closer to the victory na meron si Lord. To the victory na ibibigay ni Lord sa atin. Amen. Kung naniniwala po tayo sa sinabing iyon, um, comment po tayo ng Amen. <laughs> Thank you po sa lahat-lahat. And, anyway, moving on. Um... So, ano pa lang po yun, no? Eh, intro pa lang yun. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Ito po yung question. So, why should we believe and trust in God? Diba? Um, ito pong topic tonight is more on um, increasing our faith in the Lord lang po. Kasi, if may mga doubts tayo sa puso't isipan natin, paano magpo-prosper yung faith? So, tonight po, let's answer and let us remind ourselves na si Lord po, is isang Diyos na totoo at karapat dapat nating paniwalaan. So, number one, uh, He has displayed plenty of miracles. So, again, I just wanna ask all of you po, ilan na bang miracles ang ginawa ni Lord sa buhay mo? A lot of us would say, hindi na natin mabilang, di ba? Pero, again, question, Bakit every time na may bago tayong pagsubok is parang dinidisregard natin yung ginawa ni Lord na bago? I, I mean, to put it even um, clearer, bakit pagka nagkakaroon tayo ng another na 
trial sa buhay natin is hindi kinakalimutan natin kung anong ginawa ni Lord before for us, 'di ba? Parang kung iisipin mo ang grabeng sacrifice ni Lord for us, pero dumating na naman tayo sa panibagong trial, hindi na natin napapansin, hindi natin nare-realize kung gaano siya ka-great sa ginawa niya before, 'di ba? Parang we're still so worried. Ang dami-dami niya nang dinisplay na miracles, pero still, you know, we question him. We still don't trust him. We think maybe this time iba na, maybe this time it will not happen again, di ba? Um, ayan. So, sabi po dito, sa Old and the New Testament, mayroon daw pong 150 miracles recorded. So, we should not limit kung ano pong kayang gawin ni Lord. Kung ang nasa isip natin is, oh, the Lord did it already once, maybe He will not do it again. No. Di ba? Because, nasan yung faith mo dun? Bakit ka, bakit mo nililimit yung gagawin ni Lord sa buhay mo? Di ba? So, let us not limit po yung gagawin ni Lord because He is God. No one is higher above Him. Di ba? Sabi po dito sa Numbers chapter 11 verse 23, The Lord answered Moses, Is the Lord's arm too short? Now you will see whether or not what I say will come true for you. So, um, like I said po, na we should never, never limit si Lord because minsan yung mga absurd thing na we think imposibleng mangyari, it, it still happens. Because si Lord po, He defies No, he defies yung mga nililimit natin. Kasi tayo bilang tao, for sure, we have limitations. But the Lord, He has no limitation. Bakit? Kasi sino bang gumawa ng mandong ito? Sino bang in charge sa lahat, di ba? Siya. So anything and everything under the sun and even in the space above, anything can happen. So tayong, tayong, tayo, tayo pong mga Christians, we should not think so negatively. No, sa so dinami-dami nang dinisplay ni Lord sa buhay natin. Bakit tayo magkakaroon ng shadow of a doubt? 'Di ba? We shouldn't. And number two po, is he has plenty of promises for us. So sabi po dito sa sa Bible po is mayroon daw 8,810 na promises na nakasulat. Pero bakit yung nag-iisang kasi nung alinga ng kaaway, yun pa yung mas pinapaniwalaan natin, 'di ba? Like, 8,810, sobrang dami nun. Pero, ilang miracles pa ba ang kailangan? <laughs> miracles and promises of the Lord ang kailangan niyang sabihin at gawin para lang magkaroon tayo ng full 100% na faith sa Kanya. Diba? Nagbuhay siya ng patay. Nag, uh, siya mismo. He resurrected, di ba? Ang dami-daming mga, mga bagay na pinangako niya para sa atin. Salvation. He promised salvation for us. He will never leave us. Diba? Sabi? So, ang panghawakan po natin is yung mga promises ni Lord. The reason why hindi natin nagagawa yun is because hindi natin alam yung mga pangako ni Lord. Out of this 8,810 na promises, ilan ang alam natin? ba? Diba? So, how would we know itong mga promises ng Lord? Um, the number one solution po dyan is magbasa po tayo ng Bible. Amen. Kasi po, ito po yung sandata natin sa mga kasinungalingan ng kaaway. If we know if we know God's word, then, you know, nothing could hinder us from being faithful, from being courageous and putting our trust in God. For example, it's just a reminder for all of us po. Um, sa Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Whatever Whatever trial man pong pinagdadaanan natin, is kasama natin si Lord. Tandaan po natin yan. Sa Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 8, The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? You see, bago ka pa dumaan sa trial na yun, bago ka pa singilin ng bank because of that loan, si Lord is na-prepare niya na ang future mo. Kasama mo na siya. Doon pa lang. Diba? Next, John chapter 16 verse 33 In this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world. We have nothing to worry about because si Lord he has already won, di ba? Na defeat niya na yung kaaway more than 2000 years ago. So 
everything will just lead for us to be victorious from now on. And sabi po sa Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Kung napapagod na po tayo, just surrender everything to the Lord. Diba? Because the Lord will renew our strength. He will give us and He will do what's best for us. Amen? Sometimes, hindi naman, natin, hindi naman tayo nagre-require ng, ano eh, ng mga material na bagay. Eh. Sometimes, kapa, kapahingahan lang kailangan natin. And si Lord ang uh, magbibigay ng kapahingahan na yun. Sabi po dito sa 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Remember po, na everything good in you is because of the Lord. Diba? If, for example, everybody knows po sa mga matagal ng Christian that medyo mahiyain talaga ako sa church, I never spoke. Pero, that was me. Si Angelica po yun. But, etong nagsasalita sa harap nyo ngayon is because of God. I'm able to speak, I'm able to share yung word ni Lord sa inyo because the Lord lives in me. Amen. And sabi po dito sa Exodus chapter 14 verse 14, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. May mga batas tayo na hindi natin kailangang aksyonan ang sarili natin. At hayaan natin na si Lord siyang gumalaw para sa atin. Amen. Oops. Ayan, sabi po dito sa uh, number 2. Again, yung sa promises. Sabi po sa Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. God is not human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? So again, this just proves na whatever promise po ang nakasulat sa Bible, the Lord will make sure na ifulfill niya yun. Because he's not human. Ang tao could say so many things, pero it would mean nothing. Pero pag ang Diyos ang nagsalita, he will surely do it. You just have to have faith in Him po. Amen. Bakit ba? Bakit ba siya maraming pro uh, promises for us? Simple lang po yung sagutan because He loves us. We are His creation. And He wants us to be with Him po when uh, judgment day comes. Number three, um, He has given us authority. Na ikaw bilang anak ng Diyos, meron kang authority. So why worry? Bakit hindi mo pagkatiwala ng Diyos? Maraming benefits ito. For example, um, sabi dito sa Luke chapter 10, verse 19, We have the authority to trample over snakes and scorpions against the enemy. Nothing will harm us. So whatever lie ang ibigay, ang gawin, ang kaaway, is we have the authority and we have the power para matalo siya. Diba? Yung enemy, he prowls around like a roaring lion waiting for someone to devour. Maraming, lahat tayo, probably he would say so many things to us, so many lies to us. Pero, the moment nakagatin mo yung lie na yun, dun ka matatalo. So, you should know na whatever ibato sa'yo ng kaaway, whatever doubt ang ibato niya sa'yo, you know, and you are standing strong because you know that you have the power to overcome the enemy. Sabi po sa Mark chapter 3 verse 15, we have the power to cast out demons, diba? It's not just the the higher ups in the church. No, everybody has this power because we are all equal, diba? Laging ang sinasabi ni pastor sa church, pag uh, na-meet na natin si Jesus sa afterlife, he's not gonna say, well done, my good and faithful uh, pastor of LRC or leader of LRC. No, we are all servants. We are all equal. Amen. And then, Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, we have the power to heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, again, cast out demons. 1 John chapter 2, verse 13, we have the power to overcome the evil one. We have the power to resist temptation. Diba? Kagaya ni Lord, nung tinempt siya ni Satan, three times even. Diba? And sabi po dito sa Acts chapter 26, verse 18, uh, have our eyes opened and turn away from evil towards God. So if you think na you are stuck, diba, na you cannot get out sa maybe vices mo, mga bagay na hindi mo pa mabitawan, no, don't think that. 
kayang-kaya mo yan because God will be the one to change you. Whatever you do by yourself, it will not happen. You have to have Jesus with you for you to overcome it. Amen. And so James chapter 4 verse 7, we have the power and the authority to resist the devil so that he may flee from us. Kapag nakikita ng kalaban na hindi na tayo nagpapatinag, iiwan niya na tayo. Diba? So, he would attack us. He would attack us mercilessly. Bakit? Because gusto niya tayong makasama niya sa hell. Diba? Tayong mga tao, is may chance pa tayo to have redemption through what Jesus Christ had done on the cross. Pero siya, kahit anong gawin niya, is sa hell lang punta niya. And again, I know this is common knowledge, but I just want you guys to understand and to realize na si Satan, at the end of Judgment Day, hindi siya ang magiging ka ng kamay ni Lord na magre-report sa kanya na, oh, etong si ano, na napapunish na siya, ganyan. No, he's not, he's not gonna be the leader. Siya ang unang-unang ipapunish ni Lord. Diba? Kasi nga, like I said, wala na siyang chance for redemption. So, ang gagawin niya, maghahakot siya ng iba pang makakasama niya sa hell. Diba? Whatever it takes to deceive ang mga tao, lalong-lalo ng mga Christians, ang mga, uh, mga naniniwala sa Diyos, gagawin niya yun. Gagawin niyang whatever it takes, really. And we have authority over so much more things. Again, these are just examples. Hindi po ito yun lahat. But we just have to realize and to know na we are not defeated. We have the victory because Jesus gave us this victory. Amen po. Uh, again, I pray na may natututunan po yung lahat. So, comment lang po tayo ng mga ano, sharings natin. And, okay. Um... Yeah, again, he has given us yung authority. Sabi dito sa Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 4, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Amen. Um, remember, madalas po, kung mababasa niyo po yung New Testament, di ba? Nagpapagaling po si Jesus at yung mga disciples niya ng mga may sakit. Paano sila, paano sila gumagaling? Um, I, I noticed na the Lord would always say, Your faith has healed you. Yung paniniwala mo sa Diyos healed you. Diba? It's not because may ginawang surgery si Lord or what. It's not because of that. It's because naniniwala ka sa Kanya kaya ka gumaling. Diba? So this is why faith po is a very important factor kung magiging Christian talaga tayo. We have nothing if we don't have faith. Amen. Um, okay. Next po, number four, is he has defeated the enemy and redeemed us. So, um, sabi po sa Romans chapter 10 verse 9, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, um, anyway, before that po, I just want to say na, um, yung enemy po is na-defeat na more than 2,000 years ago. So, bakit po tayo nag a na parang losers? ba? Bakit pagka mayroon tayong mga problems na kinakaharap is yung negative thing agad ang iniisip nating for sure na mangyayari? Why do we give Satan this pleasure of, you know, giving him yung credits sa mga pwedeng mangyari sa buhay natin? Why don't we, for the first time in our lives, Focus on the good things. Kung nawalan ka ng trabaho ngayon, don't think of it as maybe kailangan mo nang umuwi ng Pinas or sa nakukuha ng pangkain, pangbayad ng rent. No. Think of it as the Lord preparing something great for you. Diba? Anong mas magandang isipin? Yung may mas maganda kang trabaho or yung namang problema ka sa kakainin mo at kung saan ka titira. Diba? So, um, sabi po dito, um, why does, why Jesus dying on the cross is for our sake? Number one, we have victory over the shackles of sin. ba? So, dahil namatay si Lord, panalo na tayo. Kung panalong ama natin, panalo na rin tayo. Diba po? And then, number two, we are saved. 
Again, not by good works, but because of His power, because of what He has done. Hindi po tayo makakapunta sa heaven by our good works alone. No? Yung good works po natin is a result ng ating pananampalataya kay Lord. Amen? And then, His resurrection made the Holy Spirit available to all of us. So, kinailangan, kinailangan ni Lord na mag-ascend sa heaven for us to be with Him. Diba? Kasi, if Jesus is just in one place, what about the others? Diba? Kung hindi sila masyaran. This is why, si Lord had to go back to heaven so that all of us would have a piece of Him in our hearts, in our minds, and in our bodies. Ang sa ganun po is we are constantly reminded na not to fall sa trap ng enemy. Amen? Oops. Ayan. And then, number four. Again, um, the, the veil has been torn. Yung prayers natin reach faster to God. Ano ibig sabihin nito, no? Um, sabi po dito sa Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 39, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Nakakabless po, no? Um, if you remember po sa last moments ni Lord, nung nakapako siya sa cross, hindi ba na-mention doon na the veil has been torn. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Um, if you're familiar po sa Old Testament, the only way for the Israelites to meet the presence of God no po, is through a priest. Diba? Yung priest lang ang makaka makaka-feel ng presence ni Lord physically ng mga panahon na yun. And merong veil doon na naka, naka takip and only yung priest ang makakapasok doon sa kalaoblaoban na yun. And even um, the, the priest was wearing something na may bell sa paa, paanan niya para in case na hindi niya kayanin yung presence ni Lord because he was unclean na maraming mga cer- ceremony na kailangang gawin yung mga priest bago nila mamit si Lord. Is pag hindi, sila, pag hindi nila na-meet yun, is mamamatay sila. And yung mga Israelites cannot go inside to take him out kung sakaling mamatay yung priest. So, hihilayan nila. May rope yun. Ganon. Ganon ka-intense. So, you see, in the Old Testament, merong, merong barrier between Yahweh and sa kanyang constituents. ba? And not even everyone ang pwedeng makapunta sa presence ni Yahweh. But this time, because of what Jesus had done, no? yung prayers natin would reach God faster. It is because the, because of what Jesus had done na ang prayers natin would reach Abba Father faster. Amen. Um, next. And number, um, sabi po dito, F yan dapat. Uh, divine healing is made available to us through His flogging. No, yung mga sabi nga po, diba, by His stripes we are healed. So, kada latigo sa Kanya, kada pagpapahirap kay Lord ng mga panahong nasa cross of Calvary siya, habang papunta siya doon, it represents all kinds of sicknesses. So, let us not worry if ever we are facing, you know, um, health issues because we know we have to believe and we have to trust the Lord na we are already healed. Amen. Nasa proseso pa man tayo. If you have COVID, if you had had COVID, remember that you are healed because of what Jesus had done more than 2,000 years ago. Amen. Okay. And sabi po dito sa 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, like I said, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. Amen. So yung mga kasalanan daw po natin, ng mga panahon na nagpapasakit si Lord for us, kasama niya yung namatay. So why are we still so stuck sa atin pong mga kasalanan, di ba? Kung sinasabi po dito na si Lord mismo is um, kasama ni Lord na namatay yung mga kasalanan natin, you know, it's just a lie of the enemy. Diba? Dinideceive lang tayo ng enemy. 
Pero if we open our eyes, our spiritual eyes, we will know and we will exactly know kung paano gumagalaw ito pong kaaway. Amen? Ayan, matatapos na po tayo. <laughs> Again, comment lang po tayo ng ano, mga sharings natin and gusto natin iparating sa atin pong mga taga pakinig pang mga kapatid. Okay. Lastly, He is God. No? Why else would we <laughs> believe and trust in Him? We go back to the most basic thing. He is God. Diba? Diyos siya eh. Ano pang kakailanganin mong malaman doon? Sabi po dito sa Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So you see, God created the heavens and the earth, meaning everything that happens in this world, alam niya. Alam niya how to defeat, alam niya kung paano gawin, kung paano tapusin. Because He made it, diba? Kung, kung hindi ikaw ang gumawa from the beginning, how would you know how things work? Diba? You'd have to ask somebody. You will ask kung sino yung gumawa talaga nun. And in this case, si Jesus. Siya ang gumawa ng mundong ito. So, everything is under God's control. Diba? We have nothing to worry about if everything is under God's control. We just need to learn to trust in the Lord. Ayan. So, um, kilala niya po ba ito? Si, siya po si, ano, si Hezekiah. Napakaganda po ng kwento ng... <laughs> buhay po niya, no? So, si Hezekiah po was a uh, king ng mga Israel before. So, after na siya ni David and ni Solomon, di ba? Yung mga kings po after nun is naging bad sila. Nilid nila yung mga Israelites to worship uh, again yung mga false gods, no? Pero after a while, after a few generations, Hezekiah came and he was unlike any other kings before before him because he was faithful to God he served God he followed God's instructions pero minsan no ang nagkaroon siya ng balita na mamamatay na siya soon sinabihan siya ni prophet Isaiah so syempre na disappoint siya and nalungkot siya Pero you know what he did? Hindi siya lumayo sa Lord, hindi siya nagalit sa Lord, but he prayed to the Lord, he spoke to him, and he reminded the Lord kung gaano siya naging faithful sa kanya. And because of that, ni-recognize ni Lord yon na he acknowledged, the Lord acknowledged yung mga kabutihan ni, ni Hezekiah. And dahil doon, binigyan pa siya ng 15 years additional sa buhay niya. You see? You see how God can turn yung situation na parang wala nang pag-asa into something na magkakaroon ka pa ng pag-asa, 'di ba? Na who would have thought inannounce na nga na ano eh, 'di ba? Na wala na siyang chance na mamamatay na siya, but still God gave him 15 additional years. So you can see God can turn unfavorable situations favorable for his people. Amen. And it it's really a, a great story, honestly. Um if we become just like Hezekiah, there is no way that God would reject us if we need, if we want anything, as long, as long as it's His will. Diba po? Because when we pray for something, we have to pray for God's will. Kailangan yung will ni Lord ang mas mag-prosper sa buhay natin. Because si Lord po wants the best for us. Maybe we want something else, pero hindi yun magre-result into something good. Diba? That's why si Lord ang dapat na magda-drive ng buhay natin. So, again, moving on po sa ating conclusion. Ano daw kailangan natin gawin to increase our faith in God? Number one, let us pray to God na yung faith natin would increase. The basic thing we should do is to pray. Ask Him. Diba? If you think na yung faith mo is nanghihina ka, it's not as good as you want it to be, Pray. Because the Lord wants to hear it from us. He knows yung puso natin, but it's always better, di ba, na marinig, na, na marinig niya mula sa puso't isip sa labi natin mismo kung ano yung gusto natin from Him. Then, remember na every trial na kakaharapin natin is a way to glorify God. Maybe you're undergoing this kind of trials because one day in the future, you will meet somebody na kakailanganin ng testimony mo para ma-overcome niya yung trial niya today. ba? And in this way, you will be boasting 
sa ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Not because nakayanan mo mag-isa, but because yung grace and mercy ng Lord is was there with you. Na even before mo kinaharap yung problema na yun, is the Lord guided you and the Lord was already with you. Amen? And what to do? Change our mindset. Like I said earlier, if you are facing um, trials, if you're um, being anxious about anything, why? Instead of thinking of the negative effect, ang isipin mo is yung positive. If you lost your job, uh, oh Lord, it's time for promotion, di ba? If you lost uh, a dear friend, maybe it's because God will give you somebody else better, di ba? It's, it, it's not the end of the world at all. While you have your faith, nothing can stop you from prospering because of God. And then, uh, sabi po dito, do not let the enemy have total control over you. Not even little control. So, how do we do that? We have to keep our minds and our hearts fed with the Word of God. If we are, you know, um, equipped with the Word of God, we can use it para i-throw over kung ano man yung iya-attack ng kaaway sa atin. If he says, we are nothing, remind Satan that you are God's chosen child. That you have the power to trample over him. You have the power to expose his lies. But why would you believe in somebody, somebody's lies? Especially from someone na wala nang chance at redemption. Amen? So let us be excited on how God will use us for his glory. And yung mga buhay po natin is a living testimony rin po sa atin pa pong mga kapatiran. And then, um, again, think of the victory at the end of the trial, the light at the end of the tunnel, and the rainbow after the rain. There will be no testimony if there is no testing. Diba po? So, remember, everything should be for God's glory alone. So, ayan lang po yung ating conclusion. Uh, to God be the glory. I pray and I really hope na meron po tayong natutunan and in a way, na strengthen po ang ating paniniwala sa Lord. Because, there is nothing we can do if you don't have faith. Napaka-importante pong meron tayong paninindigan siya sa Diyos. Kilala natin kung sinong sinaserve natin. At hindi lang tayo oo ng oo sa mga naririnig. But we ourselves, we seek Him. ba? Lagi ko nga pong sinasabi kasi sa mga kinoconsolidate ko na second timers. Na dito sa church na to, it's not, let's stop na amen lang ng amen. It's okay to question, to question us. To know because it's okay to question if you want to know the truth no hindi lang yung dahil <laughs> sina challenge mo nang nang huhuli ka di ba because at the end of the day religion will not save us it is our relationship with god that will save us so i really pray po na may natutunan tayo and na in times magkakaroon tayo ng atin pong mga trial sa buhay is may apply po nating mga bagay na to simple lang po ang kailangan nating tandaan na nag exist ang Diyos. And everything will follow soon. Di ba po? If we know that God exists, then there is nothing to worry about. We don't have to uh, be so gloomy about it. Claim the victory already, mga kapatid. Because God has won it for you more than 2,000 years ago. So, ayun lang po. I pray talaga na may natutunan po. Again, let's share po kung anong mga... Uh, let's exchange thoughts and ideas and um, learnings po sa ating chat box and again to God be all the glory and maraming maraming salamat po sa pakikinig so yan let's close this po with a general prayer sige again let's close our eyes and bow down our heads hallelujah the father hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Holy Spirit uh, Lord God maraming maraming salamat po for tonight salamat Lord sa inyo pong mensahe salamat sa puso't isipan ng mga kapatid ko Lord na inopen ninyo and I know and declare in the name of Jesus Lord na talaga naman pong tumatak ito sa puso't isipan nila thank you Lord God and Lord um, again just wanna ask you Lord God I lift up ang amin pong simbahan Lord ang LRC Lord dito man sa UAE sa sa US and sa Pilipinas Lord God at sa, sa mga future pa pong magiging branch ng LRC Lord God is I pray na you cover and you delegate po yung mga pastor na 
sila po is patuloy at patuloy magkaroon ng desire and ng heart to serve you, Lord God. Bless their families, Lord God, because they are our head, Lord. Sila pong authority na nilagay niyo po for us. We know, Lord God, na ginagamit niyo po sila para rin po sa aming benefit. Nang sa ganon is mapush kami na, ma na makilala ka at mapapurihan ka pa po, Lord, ng naaayon sa gusto mong paraan, Lord God. Lord, we pray and speak multiplication po sa aming church, Lord God. I pray na you ignite po yung fire sa puso ng mga leaders and sa amin pong mga disciples. Nang sa ganon, Lord, mas marami pa po kaming souls na madala po sa inyong pahanan. Lord God, na one day, Lord, lahat kami, sama-sama po kaming papupurihan ka, Lord. And Lord, I pray din po sa mga kapatiran ko, Lord God, na naghahanap ng trabaho right now, Lord God, if meron man po sa kanila, Lord, na feeling hopeless na, Lord God. Remind them who you are, Lord. Remind them of your goodness in their lives, Lord, na patuloy lang silang magtitiwala sa kung ano man pong plano mo sa buhay nila, Lord. Na meron pong magandang trabaho naghihintay sa kanila. And Lord, sa mga kapatidan ko naman pong nahihirapan sa trabaho, Lord God, I am speaking blessing upon blessing sa buhay nila, Lord God. Promotion upon promotion in the mighty name of Jesus, in accordance to your will, O God. Lord God, meron man po silang mga Boss na matitigas ang puso, Lord God, palambutin mo po ito, Lord God. Then, turn their heart of stone into a heart of flesh, Lord God. I know that you can do this, Lord God. Kasi sinabi mo, mo po ito sa inyong salita, Lord God. And Lord, uh, ganun din po sa mga pamilya namin, Lord God. Kasama man po namin sa UAE or sa ibang panik ng pansa. Pati na rin po, Lord God, sa Pilipinas, Lord. Is let your mighty hand of protection be upon them, Lord. If hindi pa po sila nakakakilala sa'yo, Lord, gumamit ka ng tao na magsishare sa kanila of your goodness. Because, Lord, ang puso po namin is makita po ang pamilya namin, Lord, nagsiserve sa'yo, Lord. Lahat kami sabay-sabay na pinapapurihan ka, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. And, Lord, sa nangyayari po sa mundong ito, I pray in the name of Jesus that you cover each one of us with your most precious blood, Lord, that no works of the enemy, Lord God, itong corona na to will never touch us, Lord God. And para naman po, Lord, sa mga kapatid kong undergoing ng COVID right now, Lord, protect them, Lord God. Restore their health, Lord God. Let your provision be upon them, Lord. And strengthen their faith, lalong-lalo na po sa panahong ito, Lord. Napakahirap po talaga. But because, Lord God, we learned na there's nothing to worry about because you are our God, we will believe, Lord God, and we will entrust everything to you, Lord. Lord, sa mga kapatiran ko naman pong bago sa church, Lord, I pray na you ignite the fire in their hearts even even more, Lord God. Yung joy and yung pleasure po na, ma, na mapunta sa presence mo will always be upon them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. 